Hello and welcome back to Adom. And this is not the Mana Temple. Nope. Um, <laughs> I just decided to take a trip to the to the surface again. Oh, I got a new corruption on the way. You've become very light. Mm, strength down, dexterity up, toughness down, speed. Hmm, okay, that sounds good. Or... Or is it? <laughs> nah... I'm not a fan of this, so we're probably gonna... Cure some corruption soon. something. Uh, I also I wanted to stop by here <clears throat> to see uh, or talk with the dude who lives here if we can find him. There he is. You shall promise but you need to show more. Okay. I, I am this is the guy who gives you the quest to kill twenty of the the first monster you uh, killed. I don't remember what <laughs> that was, so... But, well, no. Um, but this is a place where we could probably at some point try out the plan. Um, the thing where, where um, we wish for an uh, Emperor Moloch. Which will give a whole bunch of greater Molochs. And we could stand in here and try to kill them ranged or with. But that will require some preparation. We need. We need some. Uh, I know a re reliable ranged uh, thingy. But yeah. Um, See, do we have we have potions of cure corruption? We have three there, and we have seven blessed scrolls, and two uncursed. Let's read one of these blessed scrolls. You feel cleansed. Okay, that's um, these three are nice. Well, the raging one is, I don't know, minus nine to defense. Eh, maybe not really great, but at least we have our strength uh, quite good now at 47. Uh, learning is down to 23. Willpower. Toughness. Yeah, that, that was 50 points of... Uh, uh, 50 hit points worth of toughness there. I think that was good. Anyway, let's leave this place. And we're hungry. Um, but, well, the real reason actually why I went to the surface, let's, um, Do that while we are walking here. Um, evade. Yeah, the real reason is I wanted to go. Oops. I wanted to go here, the ancient dwarven graveyard. And why would I do that? Well, you probably guessed it if you if you know. Um, no Adom. Um, what I want is to do some grave robbing. Yes. Two reasons. Um, experience and uh, loot, of course. That's that, well, that, that is the only <laughs> reasons why you would uh, do grave robbing. So. Um, so that's obvious. But, well, I guess the 
the third reason is that uh -huh. well, the third reason is that uh, we did quite well against uh, those emperor liches we found um, yeah you know down in that <laughs> that dungeon I don't remember exactly um and I guess I guess I think I haven't really really done a lot of research or well but um yeah I think emperor liches are the worst things you can get by grave robbing so Let's see here. Mm. Which amulet do we use? Good old Ankh or mm, we have some unidentified ones as well. Oh um yeah, I'll go for the Ankh. We have we have the death ray resistance we need. Good old blessed skull crusher. And now let's um, let me see use. I think yes. Uh, a pickaxe. Direction downward to this grave, which said, "Great treasures are buried here." Let's see what happens. A master lich jumps out of the hole. Okay. <coughs> Well, let's, 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 um, hmm, he doesn't see invisible, it looks like. Let's be, uh, careful about the lich's, uh, stat training abilities. And, um, well, I guess we could do Thunderstroke and... one okay no I think she can see me there we go there's a lot of ghosts uh, let's be also aware of Aging, unnatural aging, which could, or well, the, the ghosts can do. Under the sling arrows. By the way, I didn't notice, but <coughs> Master Lich, seven thousand XP. Okay, that's not super incredible, but so a ring of slaying we don't need really, but a long spear. Mana. Well, why not? Now, this should be the real loot. Mm, a silvery arrow. Ooh, that's. That's interesting. Lots of. Well, two potential learning potions. And let's just take everything. And we need to eat. Russian and some bread. Okay, well that went fine. I'm, I'm, hmm. What's this single silvery arrow? Silvery arrow. Hmm. Can we do it the uh, 
One blessed scroll of great identify. Hmm, oops. Well, uh... Wiki or... Or Great Identify. <clears throat> On that arrow. I don't know. I'm gonna... I suspect it's some kind of artifact arrow. Something in the... Something like uh, Thunderstroke, that quarrel. Here's another tombstone which says great treasures are buried here. Um, I'll look up that silvery arrow. Yeah. So, yes, silvery arrow. That's very likely, or I'm pretty sure it's a true aim, an, an artifact arrow which does a lot of damage and does return. So that's cool. Anyway, let's dig this grave. Mm. Pickaxe. Another monster lich. Yeah, yeah, I can deal with that. Yeah, now we see the silver arrow, true aim, plus 10, 15, d5 damage. Returns. Nice. That's one good arrow. <laughs> Water. Okay. What treasures do we find? Clothes and furs. Those can't be good. Take the weapons, thin dagger. That's a throwing dagger, I think. Fire systems, I don't really need it. Um, trap creation, I. Eh, well, who knows? Okay, that was the second grave. Um, see if there's a third grave. I don't know how many there are or can be, but uh, rip, rip, rip. Rest in peace. Sure, how uh, how worth it it is to do this, but well, it's kind of exciting. And uh, well, we already found one artifact, so great treasures are buried here. Nice. Uh, Master Lich. There we go. It's not huge amounts of XP though, that's kind of what I want the most. Hmm. Eat. And let's check out this treasure. Hey, rocks. Corals could be good. Water, of course, nice. A ruby, probably worth money. A fiddle? Nah, I don't think Bong is a fiddler. Boost strength. Nah. Have any music skill? No. I 
nothing left here. Did we already check these? Uh, probably did. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, the descriptions doesn't change, so... That looks like... Looks like this was all the grave robbing we could do here. Okay, that wasn't too amazing. Oh, uh, well. Could try also the... Um, that graveyard undead level in... Um, in the Caverns of Chaos. Maybe, uh, might be something there as well. Um, let's just evade this. Feeling hungry? Do we have survival skill? Yes. No, whoops. What? Okay. Um Yeah, so let's just rob all the graves we can. I'll just pause the recording while walking down there, and uh, soon there should be some more exciting action. And here we are. Yes. Just, uh, <clears throat> I know what it's called. Um, it's like a graveyard undead level here in the Solis, in the Caverns of Chaos. There's a hmm, bunch of enemies here. Hmm. Very little of XP. Oh, there's a lich. Potential beauty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find anything. Hey, great treasures are buried here. Nice. Um, I'll use Thunder Stroke this time. Hmm. I'll use the pickaxe and see what we find. A Master Lich. Yeah, that's the lich down. Now all these guys. And I should be a bit careful because I don't exactly remember wh you know, exactly which uh, which monsters can stay in your. <laughs> Stay in your drats, yeah. <laughs> Drain your stats. And all that. Gotta wait? No. Saber. That's not very... Interesting loot or treasures. Mm. There's another one.
Master, Master Lich. Here we go. <clears throat> give us a spell book we probably can't read. Swords look okay. Uh, not really super exciting. There's another one. Uh, Master Lich. Dead. <laughs> uh, Two-handed sword. Cloaks and clothes. Uh, copper hewn girdle. Potential mana. Well, sure. These weapons, uh, I'll take them just in case. As always. And oh, more treasures. Master Lich. Haha. <laughs> well, I guess later on after this we'll just use a last scroll of identify to <coughs> check out all the stuff and sell or drop whatever we don't want. Um, look, melon. Ooh, Potion of Gain Attributes, now that's a really good find. Alright, uh, there's, there's some treasures to be found <laughs> here, even though they're not always very 
great or uh, have too much to say today um, it seems hey right, great treasures use wait I'm not even using uh, an amulet um, I think we need yeah. let's go Unk. anyway use pickaxe Platinum amulet. Interesting. And the other treasures battle axe. Boost strength, thrust removal. Okay. I'll take it. Be coming to an end here. Hellagar, JFK, RIP. Nope. So that's it for the grave robbing wasn't as exciting as I hoped and thought but well we got some pretty nice stuff that silvery arrow true aim and uh, a potion of gain attributes all those are very good whoa what's happened here Jesus oh is it this guy probably the bullet of identify into holy water and read one of those and see if there's anything amazing here <clears throat> two crowns of regeneration yeah helm of mental stability um, whoops sorry I think the microphone was a bit uh, out of place there um, anyway this one is very good as far as I know um, uh, nothing really stands out as amazing here um, flaming mithril short sword that's sort of cool ooh mithril spear of penetration now that's actually really good right amulets we had some unknown amulets oh yeah okay Power Charisma, blah blah. Meh. If 
five rings of slaying. Well, it would be nice to get a find another potion of exchange. Ring of gain attribute learning plus one. Ah. Um, this is better than this. Oh, it's already blessed this potion of gain attributes. That's perfect. Blessed potential mana. Mm -hmm. Blessed potential learning. Okay, there's some good stuff here. Absolutely. Spellbook of teleportation. I need to check out what what all these crystals actually do. So I think some some of them can be really good, actually. Uh, <laughs> so, well, I'll go to Dwarf Town, sell all the crap, and um, and uh, yeah, I'll just do that off camera. I think there's. It's very probably not a lot of fun to watch. Let's record. Uh, these are the dwarven halls. There's some nasty stuff up here. Well, it's maybe not that nasty anymore. Stone giant corpse. Yeah, there's a, a shadow worm or something here somewhere. Well, actually, let's um, let's kill some stuff here for the uh, for the, the experience. Yeah, that's the guy I was talking about. Just a shadow worm. Okay, we got it. Oh, only six thousand. Okay, let's get out of here. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll end this episode here now. Um, ooh, fresh meat. Tasty meat. Uh, I'll end it here, and... and um, by the start of the next episode, I will have sold all the crap here, and... Uh, <coughs> I'll probably be ready to go f to the Mana Temple. And, um, yeah. I'm sorry if I do sound a bit uh, tired or such today, but it's, that's because I am a bit tired. <laughs> or quite tired, actually. So, um, I'll make sure in the next episode I'll be well rested and awake and all that good stuff so um, yeah anyway thank you for watching and join me again next time Ooh, shit <laughs> sorry about that but I just noticed that we are neutral chaotic and that's really not good we do not want to change our alignment to chaotic so yeah the grave rob robbing was probably a chaotic a chaotic act alright
Right, well, next time I think we are gonna have to deal with that as well. Get ourselves more towards neutral again. Ooh, that's a good thing I noticed. We do have all these. We could, um, if we deliver these to Guth Alak, the druid, I think that's a pretty lawful, nice act, so. Okay, anyway, see you again next time when I'm more awake and, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, take care.